Oh, I got an oil filter. I just got a cheap one, but it's not a good one. This is doing a shitty one, so I'm gonna change it anyways. I'm saying. I don't remember having a washer in between the two. He probably did. 
I mean, it makes sense. Well, really, I mean, the, it's, it's going to be the same thing. Yeah, you have more like, surface area on the rubber without the yeah, washer. Right. That's what I was just going to say. All before dinner time. <laughs> It's a PlayStation. PCB valve. <clears throat> Probably just a hook too. It was on the carburetor. I don't need that. Whoa, let's go fight it out. I'm gonna drop this. Ooh, 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 wait for me, wait for me. Got the hood open, I see. That's a sweet air cleaner you got 11 years ago. Fake carbon fiber, yeah. carbon fiber. Oh, hey, easy. <laughs> Might need that someday. Probably, so we probably don't need unless we want to put a new gas. Tank. No, we don't. You might need that other stud though, because it's probably taller than this one. Because this air cleaner is like, or is it the same size? Yeah. I thought the new one was taller. I thought your old one was three inch and that was four. Yep. So, you're going to want to set that somewhere. Take that stud out of the carbonator. Turn it. Turn it. I'm already out here though. Stuff like that. Long side. Stuff like that. Is the thread the same on both sides? Oh, sure. 
Only demon would do something stupid like put different threads in there. Oh man, we really tightened that wrong way. We really tightened that in there, huh? Is it turning? No. Oh. Let me just get you some pliers. Push it. Don't pull the foam tore you. Push it. Oh, I don't think that's doing shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, what do we do? Double knot that to put it on there? I don't know. Here, I thought like this was going to be a quick... Oh, that there. doesn't matter. Nothing touches there. It's not moving. Oh, boy. We really... We really did a number on this. Did that turn? I think so. Oh, check it. Chicken, chicken, chicken check, chicken check. No. Oh, are you sure? No, I just like I should have got some vice grips. Sure, it looks like it's turning to me. No, but that doesn't mean that I can turn it with my oh, fingers. Oh, sure you are. What? I thought you were strong. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. No, I can't either. I don't want to. This is going to be a great video. Well worth the wait. Do, 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 do. Let's try it now. Yep. Yay! Maybe. Oh. Oh. At least you still have one red plug wire. Yeah. How you know? It's good. Smells like the thread there got dubbed. And it almost feels like it say it's out like. There's some stuff in there you can see. Well, what did we Looks like some anti-seize or something. Well it's not really to ever could not seize it. <laughs> you sure it's not locked tonight? <laughs> yeah. Alright, well let's get That's the new one in there. That is Ooh, that's tall. I think you got this big ass hood. Right. Had to go with the tall cow hood for my air cleaner. All right, that looks tasty. Is that enough? Well, either it is or it's not. You can get a nut and run it down there, and we can tighten it in there. I'm assuming it's fine. Well, now when we put the air cleaner on. Yeah, it is. It's just the same as the other one. You just have to make sure that you got it. No. Why, yeah. <laughs> this goes the other way. You gotta turn it 90 or well, whatever. No, 90 degrees. There, like that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's nice, I tell you. Makes your engine look bigger now. You know, oh wow, yeah, we need to turn that in down in some or cut it off, and make it shorter. All right, air cleaner back off. All right, I'll cut down. I'm not sure if it's enough. Here we go again, Angel. <laughs> Second try. Yeah, 
kind of tall, but I think it's fine. bigger your engine is now. Sturdy. Sturdy. It's dirty. Yeah. And yeah, it's not in the LS, so it's the two problems with it. Alright, well that's the only new thing you got for your car that we're looking at here. <laughs> that we're looking at right now. Okay. There might be something else later in another video. Does it fit? Do you see the hood on the top of this thing you got? Yeah, but... <laughs> like it's not even sitting above the fenders hardly. <laughs> That's not shit. <laughs> Alright, well, since so this thing's been fully worked over this winter, ready for summer. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Does, are you doing that today? Today? <laughs> I guess that's a no. <laughs> Air cleaner. That's all she's got in her. I just go back to doing what I was doing before, I guess. Sitting down on this chair. At least the whole shoebox is good for something. Oh, yep. Whew. I wish Jim wasn't on quarantine so he could come build this car for me. Poor thing. Maybe 
a lift this time because we'll go up to the car first. <laughs> Stud too short. What? She put a nut at the base where it goes into the carburetor so I can tighten it up to the carburetor. Oh. Uh, that's what I need to do. I'll have to flip it around. That'll keep it from vibrating inside the carburetor. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Hopefully I have a nut that size. I'm sure it's you. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just a matter of finding it. This is a good way to put metal shavings down your foot. Good thing this engine's no good. This thing's tip top. Okay, <laughs> now. I mean, it does have new push tubes. <laughs> push rods. I know. I said push tubes on purpose. I know they're push rods. Uh, and I know you don't like it. And there, somebody calls them push tubes. I've got another column in <laughs> Right size. <laughs> That's why you have a junk drawer in your toolbox with miscellaneous things. Like a set of flames cut out with a plasma cutter, some old pins and bushings, and a carburetor stud. <laughs> well, this one's no longer needed. Now I just need to find, I still need to find a nut. But look at this fancy wing nut you could have. I mean, that is custom that right is there. Nice. What's that from? what that came on. What else is custom about it, it has two different size threads in it. One for this size stud and then deeper there's another set for this size. Now that is really, I mean, how can you get any answer in that? You could try, but I doubt you'd do it. So anyway, I was looking for a nut. <laughs> Not this, but I found this instead. <laughs> You're too late, you missed it all. <laughs> That's why I have it nicely organized. <laughs> Nothing and bolt men. Okay. So you didn't even have to dump it out. Aren't you didn't happy? Have to. Well, usually I'll sit there and dig through it for 10 minutes and then dump it out. Instead of just dumping it out from the beginning. 716. the carburetor so it doesn't vibrate around in there. And it keeps it. Oh, gotcha. I 
I'm following now. It's like a lock nut. Oh, look at that. Now the only problem is, did I leave enough? I did not. Not really. I thought maybe you liked it. It is kind of fancy. A little fashion wing nut. It's just fine with me. You can't do what? I'll hold this freaking gallon jug of oil and hold the. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> Just took a picture of you working <laughs> in my super cute outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Do I have to hold the freaking? Do you have to hold what the funnel? Yeah. Shouldn't have to, but well, you'll know if you knock side. it out and it spills that you probably should. <laughs> I'm already dumping oil on the side of this thing. What? Yeah. Well, hold a rag around there. Well, Maybe you should be more prepared. I'm letting you do this on your own. This is what you want. <laughs> yeah, there's no oil's not going in there because you have to hold this up. No, you don't. <laughs> Why would you have to hold that up? Because it doesn't just seal against the bottom when it's at an angle like that. But I'll hold it up if you'd like. Girls always forget stuff at the store. <laughs> they sure do. He would know because he's there all day. <laughs> Is this really how long this takes? <laughs> I mean, there's no way I can't go in faster than that. I mean, this is going to be an hour-long YouTube video. Ow, my hand's cramping. <laughs> hey, next time I'll buy an individual quartz for you. It's more money that way, though. Yeah. I'm going to have to turn this off. Knock, knock, knock. <clears throat> Somebody's knocking. It wants to come out. Nova made an old <laughs> weird sound after the oil change. Let's so we'll see what happens this time. Everything sounds fine except for that door. <laughs> it's probably the roller on the detent thing. Spray it with some WD-40. I'll just sit here while you take care of that. It's fine. I'm sure it's in. Wait here to see how the door squeaky turns out. I don't even know where the 
Uh, it's probably over here where everything is. We don't have any of uh, the aerocroil anymore. Jim took the last of it. <clears throat> yep, he sure did. Why is it so cold? Mm -hmm. Why are my spraying? The thing that squeaks. see the door close all the way and open up. Well, not so fast. Alright, you passed the test. Except you still didn't fix your armrest screw. I can't fix that. No, we gotta take the door panel off. Gotta hammer and dolly the whole back flat because it's like spread open. It's pulled open too much so screws don't grab it. But it's pulled up, like it's been tightened to the point to where it pulled the metal up. If you just hammer it all it flat again, that screw will grab again. At least I think. I could be thinking of something totally different than how it actually is. <clears throat> Little update. Took this for a drive last Sunday. I was running like crap. Pulled the cap off. It looked like that. So, I had a new cap. Needed a rotor, so I ordered the new rotor. Uh, plug wires, because it had mismatched ones, and new plugs. Couldn't get the uh, rotor off the distributor in the car. Because this thing had to really head off. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that is looking extra tasty inside there. This distributor is pretty old and pretty rusty. That's a pro billet, not a ready to run. I have. A new ready to run distributor here that I got with that 383 right there. I think I'm just going to take the MSD box out. I know I can do it either way with the ready to run distributor. I can hook it up with the box or take it out. And I really can't make up my mind. It's already in there. You clean up the wiring a little if I got rid of it. And really, this car doesn't need it. So, I don't know. As you can tell, I haven't made up my mind yet. So, that's what's going on there. Gotta get this distributor in. Either take that box out or wire it up to there. Do the plug wires and the plugs. And then maybe it'll run decent. I drove the Model A to work today big surprise also runs like crap uh, runs fine off idle or you know when you're giving it gas it's okay at part throttle at part throttle cruising it kind of surges that runs really crappy at idle um, I'm pretty sure when I before I left for work I cleaned out these but these two on this carburetor are really hard to get to so I didn't bother with those there's probably some crap in there and yeah so that's that so I guess I'll uh, I think I'm gonna take that MSD box out just because
simple things up a little bit in there. 13%. You can't see. I changed my mind. Left, it, left the MSD box in and hooked it up with that. I still have to clean up the wiring and shorten these plug wires. So I'm not done. But we're going to take it for a test drive. So get it out of here. It's up to you. It's your car. Yeah, twelve percent battery life to get it out of the garage. Eleven percent battery life. Get it out of the garage. <laughs> It is nice. 